welcome to the Aid and Rescue Training Program. What can I do for you today? Sure, I have started the rescue training routine. The AI avatar on the hollow mat will guide you through the session. Rescue Training Module. I can teach you the basic procedures for emergency rescue. I can prepare you for the BLSD, Basic Life Support and Death Immolation Exam. But, if you are not already competent with CPR, I strongly advise attending a hands-only CPR training session first. Which module do you want me to show you? Beginning Hands-Only CPR Training. If you encounter a collapsed victim you should first of all ensure the safety of the environment around yourself, the victim, and any bystanders. Check the victim for a response. If the victim responds, leave him in the position in which he was found, provided there is no further danger. Try to find out what is wrong with him and get help if needed, and reassess him regularly. In case the victim is not responding, keep your cool and proceed like this. Turn him onto his back and open the airway by tilting back the head and lifting the chin. Look, listen and feel for normal breathing for no more than 10 seconds. If the victim is breathing normally, turn him into the recovery position and get help. Continue to check for breathing. If the victim is not breathing, shout for help to attract nearby people and make someone call for medical assistance. Sending someone to find an automated external defibrillator, or AED, is also imperative. Now it's time to start the cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. Place your hands on the center of the chest, over the breastbone, or sternum. With straight arms compress deeply 2 times per second, or around 100, 120 times per minute. Keep doing this until medical personnel arrives or someone brings an AED. If you start feeling tired ask someone to substitute you. A correct execution of CPR will considerably raise the possibility of its resuscitation. This concludes the hands-only CPR training module. Remember that quick response and a correct execution of this procedure can save lives. Beginning BLSD training. If you encounter a collapsed victim you should first of all ensure the safety of the environment around yourself, the victim, and any bystanders. Check the victim for a response by gently shaking the victim's shoulders and asking loudly are you alright? 
if the victim responds. Leave him in the position in which he was found, provided there is no further danger. Try to find out what is wrong with him and get help if needed, and we are In case the victim is not responding, keep your cool and proceed like this. Turn him onto his back and open the airway by tilting back the head and lifting the chin. Look. If the victim is not breathing, Sending someone to find an automated external defibrillator, or AED, is also imperative. Now it's time to start the cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. Place your hands on the- With straight arms com You must now combine chest compressions with rescue breaths. After 30 compressions pinch the victim's nose closed and maintain his chin lifted. Take a normal breath and seal it. Blow steadily into his mouth while watch- Keep alternating 30 compressions and 2 A correct execution of CPR will considerably raise the possibility of its resuscitation. If you get an AED, turn it on. It will guide you through the defibrillation sequence. Is everything clear or do you want me to repeat this part? Hi, I'm the automated external defibrillator AI. Let's begin the defibrillation procedure. Remove clothing from the victim's chest. Attach the sharp pads firmly to the victim's chest as shown. Analyzing rhythm, everyone stand clear. Shock advised, charging. Everyone stand clear, press shock button. Shock delivered. This concludes the BLSD training module. Remember that quick response and a correct execution of this procedure can save lives. Welcome to the aid and This door won't open. This door won't open. Five decades have passed since the Nanite Cataclysm. 
The same machines we thought could make Mars a lush world are the ones now keeping it a barren land, hostile to any and all life forms, human and artificial alike. But hope still lives as young men and women brave the dangers of the Red Planet, looking for a solution through research and experimentation. You are among these souls, studying nanite clouds in the Tharsis sector. But not today. Today, you survive. Hey, wake up. Something just triggered the base security alert, and the mainframe artificial intelligence put the facility on lockdown. I'm not able to connect to any other AI, so we must go and see what's happening for ourselves. Let's check if your neural interface is fully for testing biometrics, WASD keys to walk, C to crouch. Testing Hala Scanner Functionalities, left click to Testing Personal AI Communication Interface, press H to Summon Personal AI, Testing Item Organizer and Inspector, Phew, everything is working fine, now access your terminal and shut down the alert signal. Please shut down. Let's get out and find Director Garcia and the others. They might be in danger. The agreed rendezvous point in case of emergency is the control room, just across the eastern corridor. We should head there. This door won't open. PDA, it can be used to enter the battery is drained low. Let's take a peek outside before. should take a look around and f your room key card should be somewhere around. signal, it's the emergency radio system, encoding to digital. It's Director Garcia, I'm patching her through. What? Oh, it's you. 
I hope you are ready for some action because we're having a pretty bad situation here. An unprecedented nanite storm has hit our eastern EM shield, bringing the barrier down. Mike, Nora and I are currently stuck in the control room. We have been cut out from the rest of the outpost when the mainframe AI went on emergency shutdown to avoid endangering our lives. You must reach us at all costs and override the door's lock from the outside. And you must do that before the nanites punch through the hull or we'll be doomed. The base has already suffered some breaches and the eastern corridor sensors are going haywire, which leaves you with only one option, to take the long way around, passing through the infirmary. Also, I must rely on you for another mission. The data cores containing all our research on the nanites are still in the living quarters. You must retrieve them, secure them in a safe container. There are four data cores in all. Yours, mine, Michael's, and Mr. Klimt's. That's all. Get moved. This door won't open. This door. This door. This door won't open. are so fascinating. All those tiny machines dancing, met with too bad that nasty rogue AI from the old world took control of them those years ago. Now all I can hear from them is noise and I can't recall the AI name though. It must have been deleted from my memory when it was decommissioned. I think that's because speaking that name made humans only. in the right order as shown in the interface. Avoid purple packets that speed up the security firewall, and try to grab the green ones. WASD keys to move cursor, space to rotate cursor, left click to cap...
your TV. Yes, your This door won't open. This door won't open. This door won't open. Let's find those data cores. That's one. We need three more. Mike's favorite noodles. 35% fat, 55% but begin and add. Yummy, health a ham. is not moving. The panel is stuck. Hi, Pat. Patching.
This door will open. We're halfway. Let's look for the other two. This fighting simulation was so real you could hurt your wrists. I don't think that would work. The door controls box is open. We should be able to interface with it. You okay, this shouldn't be hard. Data channels are shown as three different lanes. You must capture data couples with your cursor. The right color combination for each character is shown under the character itself. You have limited time before data packets color matter too. While all packets are good for deciphering a character, purple ones will speed up the security process, while green ones are exploits that will delay the security. WASD keys to move. The door controls box is open. We should be able Okay, this shouldn't be hard. Dip the right cup, you have limited data W A Okay, this shouldn't be hard. Data channels are shown as three different lanes. The right color combination. You have limited time. Data W. This shouldn't be hard. Data channels are shown as three. The right color. You have limited data pack. W. -A
Okay, with the right you have limit data packets W Okay, this shouldn't be the right. You have limited time. Data pack W. Good, it's done. Good job, one more to go. We should find the four data cores and put them in the safe box inside your room, then bring it along with us while we head to the infirmary. A nanite store, Director Garcia at the nanite. Patching through.
Commissioner Stone from Palma Outpost, broadcasting to all frequencies. This is a maximum priority alert. A massive nanite storm is heading southeast from the Olympus dead zone. We have an unprecedented surge in cloud activity and replication rate. Habitats in Tharsis zone have already been hit. I repeat, Tharsis is now a non-secure area. Evacuate immediately to Palma. Do not leave anyone behind. This planet needs every single one of us. Incoming call. It's the director. Hey, what's your status? Good, because as you probably have heard, Commissioner Stone has called in a bug to Palmer Outpost to form a new secure perimeter just as we are currently still blocked in the control room. But Mr. Klimt and Officer Bale are working on bypassing the door's security lock. You must get here as soon as possible, and it's imperative that you bring those cores along. This incident cannot lead to a setback on our nanite. By the time you're here, there will be an escape plan ready. Hopefully. Get moving, by the way. You want to... The place must be falling apart and some nanites must have slipped through the base. Inner EM fields can disable them in small quantities, but the quarantine won't allow us to leave the infirmary in the mainframe. I can't be of any help at the moment. My base rules database says that a rescue pass could be used to open these doors. Maybe there is a way to get one in the infirmary.
pressure, these old machines are in such a... Oh, seems like the other valve couldn't hold the pressure, these old machines are in such a bad shape.